Hello, my name is Sharon K. Brown, and I'm your host for Breast Cancer Awareness. Sitting here today with me is Alton Alexander, who has worked with breast cancer men and families. Alton, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your work? Sure. Uh, I'm a registered nurse by profession, former school teacher, uh, and I've worked the gamut of health care. I've worked private sector. I've worked public health, uh, county hospitals, and now I'm currently with the federal system. Wonderful. Uh, can you tell me the impact of breast cancer on men? Sure. Well, let's just talk about breast cancer in general in the African American community. Uh, the stigma that is still there. You know, once upon a time, and we still do that, we used to whisper the word cancer. We didn't say cancer, you know, we would whisper it. So there's this myth too that men don't get breast cancer. It doesn't happen to men. This is a women's disease. So when you're in a culture where we're taught to be masculine, we're taught that we have to be macho and those things, it, it has a certain stigma attached to having breast cancer and being a man. Uh, the other thing with breast cancer and men is you, it usually happens later in life when it's discovered. Uh, you know, men generally don't have much breast tissue. So it's more aggressive. Um, it happens later in life. And the outcomes are usually much more poor. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that outcome, is there any statistics uh, or data relating to the breast cancer with African American men? Well, is I can tell you it is estimated that there will be approximately 440 deaths for 2016 mm -hmm. uh, related to breast cancer in men. And there will be over 2,000 new cases diagnosed in men in the year of 2016. My, my. Your relationship and your job working with women, can you give me some information in regards to breast cancer in the women? Sure. Um, I currently don't work with women in breast cancer. This is before I took this current position. But what I find is uh, breast cancer in general, it takes a toll on everybody involved. So we think, quite often we think that breast cancer is a women's disease, but it's actually a family disease when you think about it. And when you think about zeroing in, zeroing in on the African American female, it has even a greater emphasis. Um, when we talk about sociological issues, when we talk about the economic impact, uh, when we talk about the psychological issues. So let's talk about, you know, are, am I insured or am I underinsured? Very good. Yes. That will have an impact on what kind of care I get. Uh, we usually, African Americans in general, no matter what the disease is, the outcomes are usually not as good for us as some other groups. Um, with women, and African American women, so you detect it later, you may be underinsured or uninsured. We talk about the income that goes with that. On an average, a woman in general will make about 74 cents on a dollar compared to a man. Mm -hmm. So, and in this society now, you know, we, we generally have two income households, not out of want, but out of necessity. So you take the African American female, or any female for that matter, but True. we're focusing on the African, Amer African American True. female. You take that female and you strip away her income. So we've taken a two income household and we reduced it to a one income household, then will she be able to maintain her health insurance if she has it? If there are children involved, she won't be able to do what she once did with those kids as she goes through chemo, as she goes through radiation, or just even the psychological bruises that come with this. Because there's always that undertone, you know, in our society, in general, cancer means death. True. And even, you know, so you hear the word cancer, we hear the word death, and then the fear comes into that. Uh, and as the disease progresses, so you, I have this disease, the other woman has this disease. So I've lost my job, potentially lost my job, or I can't work anymore. I can't take care of my family the way I used to. I can't take care of my household the way I used to. I've lost my independence. Mm -hmm. And then if, as I go through, chemo, radiation, it does things to the body. It changes the skin, the loss of the hair. So then there are body images. And then if there is either a partial or total removal of the breast, 
that even deepens that body image. And there is a certain grieving that goes along mm -hmm. with the loss of the body image. And so then, sociologically, I pull away. So those things that I used to do, I may not do anymore. I may not want to be social anymore. That's and then if I have a mate, does he still find me attractive? Sure. Is he going to be supportive? Is he going to leave me? What does he think about me at this point? And in speaking in to, for you to speak to that, the male, the African American male, mm -hmm. the financial part of it, uh, and, and you, you spoke about the physical part of it, and I believe there was something I might have read in the paper in regards to Richard Roundtree when we were thinking about men. Can, can you speak to that? I can't, I can't. Richard Roundtree uh, had to have a radical mastectomy. Um, he had breast cancer and went through a, a round of chemo and radiation therapy. He survived it, but he went through it nonetheless. And that is, you know, he, this is the guy who played Shaft, who was seen as the macho man who was strong and virile and nothing could take him down and breast cancer did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also the financial part uh, for the African-American male that's the sole supporter of the family. Mm -hmm. uh, have you run into where the effects of that, the financial on the family? Absolutely, so if I am the male of the family, I'm the breadwinner, the own, you know, or if I'm the major breadwinner, we could have two incomes, okay. but if I'm the major breadwinner, I get cancer and I don't have the income or I don't have the kind of job that gives me massive amounts of times off, time off. I don't have a massive bank account. I got, I have children I have to take care of. I have a wife I have to take care of. All of those things add stress to what is already a stressful situation. And then you think about it as men, we're taught to be protectors. Mm -hmm. We're taught to be providers. Absolutely. Our manhood is, whether we want to admit it or not, is tied to our ability to provide for our family. In closing, <clears throat> this is an opportunity I would like for you to uh, address the African American male. What would you say to him about breast cancer? Well, what I would say about breast cancer is that it is a real disease. Denial does not make it go away. And at some point, all African American men this is my opinion, will be impacted by breast cancer. It could be mother, it could be sister, it could be aunt, it could be distant friend, it could be your brother, it could be your father, or it could be you. So the real question is, how do we step up? How do we become an active participant? And how do we become supportive? So I would like to stress that as people, regardless of the color, we need to be in touch with our bodies. So those changes that happen that may, and I want to stress may, I'm not giving a diagnosis, that's right. that's, that's that there is something going on. So if, if you're in tune with your body, you will notice even soul changes. So if you find that you have a lump, a bump under your arm, it may or may not be tender. You can have lumps in the breast. You can have changes in the sizes and the shapes of the breast. You can have pain, you can have discharge, or you may just have a red and rash that is itchy, scaly, or the dimpling or the inversion of the nipple or any other part of the breast or the chest. That is the time that you must go and see the physician. And again, I stress denial will not make it go away. And early detection is the key. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. This information is so vital because as you said before, sometimes we ignore things thinking it's going to go away and we need to take care of it right away. Immediately. Male or female. Male or female. Exactly. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, I thank you for uh, tuning in. I thank Alton for his time and information, which is very vital. Good evening.